Hey guys, if you haven't watched my room tour video, then you would not know that something pretty exciting happened in the pet room just after Christmas. I mean, literally days after Christmas. So I'm going to go back a little bit in time to explain what happened. So it all started with the fact that I did not get my yellow firebelly toads from Josh's Frogs, which was really disappointing. But if you look at the positives in life, like something I always try to do anyway, um, then I got a refund and then I suddenly had money to put back into the pet room, which was great because I wanted to upgrade my shelving and I was planning on doing that the following month, but because I got the refund, I decided to do it right then and there. So there's a shelf that I had been looking at at Home Depot that was like $150 and it was a real big shelf. I mean, I think the measurements are 24 inches deep, which is like wider or deeper than um, an exoterra, which is 18. And then each uh, shelf depends on, you know, where you place it, but the entire thing was like 72 or 78 inches, which is super tall. And then in terms of its length, it was 52 inches. I don't have the exact measurements, I'll include the link to the rack that I have now and the rack that I used before below, but it was substantially bigger in terms of its width and in terms of its length, which was really important because I needed to upgrade the shelving unit so that I could upgrade Aaron's Crested Geckos. I had been begging Aaron to upgrade his Crested Geckos from 12, 12, 18 Exoterras to 18, 18, 18, or even larger, 18, 18, 24 for a long, 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 long time. I know that some people think that it's okay to keep full-grown crested geckos in a 12, 12, 18, but I think that is far too small, especially given how active crested geckos can be at night. So, uh, especially given how much I wanna like decorate enclosures. Like if you look at a, a well-decorated crested gecko enclosure, a 12, 12, 18 isn't really going to allow for as much as you could possibly do. So I said to Aaron, we're upgrading the shelf, you're gonna help me build it, and then I'm gonna buy your enclosures over the next year and upgrade them. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I hope you are too. There's going to be quite a few, ah, Zach, don't. He's trying to pull on the cord. So anyways, as I was saying, there's gonna be quite a few Crested Gecko upgrades. Actually, there's gonna be one, two, there's gonna be four four Crested Gecko upgrades within the next year and probably within the next six months because I plan to do it at the beginning of the year. Um, so stay tuned for that, it's gonna be really exciting. Because I wanted to upgrade Aaron's Crested Geckos, we needed a bigger rack to do it because the other rack was too short. Like, it wasn't long enough to accommodate for the 18, 18, 18 bottoms of three enclosures at a time. And we have three enclosures up top and three enclosures on the second shelf to the top, which I'll show you in a little tour in a minute. So it was absolutely important to get a bigger shelf and so that's where it all started. So, didn't get the Firebelly Toads, used that money to buy a shelf, went and bought the shelf, which was heavy, props to Aaron for carrying it and putting it together, which of course is why there's no montage of me putting this shelf together. As you know, my fiance Aaron hates being recorded, hates being in photographs, and loathes entirely the internet and does not want to be on it. Like, he loves the internet, but not for himself. Like, he doesn't want to put himself on YouTube. So, respecting his wishes, of course, because he is a human being and he has rights, I uh, did not record him and put it here. So there is no montage of the shelf being put together, which I know would have been good footage but I apologize I could not have done it myself it is heavy duty it's a real heavy duty shelf each shelf can hold 650 pounds each shelf there's four of them so uh, no I couldn't have done it myself mm -mm. so I employed his help and respected the fact that he did not want to be on camera moving on so I'm going to now put a picture of what the old shelf looked like in case you did not see that. So this is the old shelf. As you can see, it had four shelves. It had a, like a black frame and then it had the like weird cardboard looking colored shelves that you had to like inset into it. The one thing I hated about that shelf is the fact that like any sort of wetness that shelf would like absorb and would become stained so it looked dirty like the moment we brought it home. As soon as Aaron spilled Crested Gecko food or I I spilled water on it, it was dirtied. And another thing I hated about it was the fact that it just didn't look good. Like the brown and black colors didn't look good in the pet room. I don't know. Aaron said he didn't like the shelf from the beginning, so of course that tainted my view of it. I thought it was fine, but I knew that one day I wanted something better. I originally got that shelf off of Amazon for like $100, I think. So I'll include the link to that shelf below in case you want to use it. It's a fine shelf, sturdy shelf. Mm -hmm. I just needed an upgrade. I know, Zachy, it's okay. So let's give a tour of the new shelf. All right, so this is the new shelf. And as you can see, it is much wider, much bigger 
uh, and looks much more heavy duty. One thing I'd like to note is that I have the blinds open right there just so you guys can see the shelf better because uh, if I turn the light on it makes it look really weird because it's a yellow light against the whiteness of the daylight because of the snow, whatever. So this is not normally open. Uh, the Christy Geckos do not normally have that much light on them during the day. Don't worry. Don't worry. But anyways, I'll give a tour from far away at first and then we'll get closer. Hi Jackson. So this is the bottom shelf. It holds my four Firebelly Toads. This was going to be holding my two yellow Firebelly Toads, but that didn't happen. I don't have anything to put in this enclosure. This enclosure is empty for the time being and will probably be empty for a little while. Um, it just, it is what it is. Uh, I have another enclosure that's sitting here, but I uh, was using for a quarantine. So it's just an empty spot, but there will be an enclosure there eventually. Over here is my Fire Skink Roku. Uh, and he's just chilling underneath the substrate so you can't see him. Over here is my cave gecko Nymeria and she's sleeping as well since she is a nocturnal species. Over here we have uh, Aaron's Crested Gecko, Aaron's Crested Gecko, Aaron's Gargo Gecko, Aaron's Crested Gecko, Aaron's Crested Gecko, Aaron's Crested Gecko. Now I'll try and get their names right but we move them around so it gets confusing. This one is Urza, that one's um, Ryuk, this is Jenova the Gargo Gecko, that is Lupin, this is Fiori, and that is Tilt. So that should be all of them. Now I'll give you guys an up close look at some of the enclosures here. So we'll start at the bottom. Over here we have the Firebelly Toad tank. And as you can see, that's Cora right there in the front. I'll open it up and give you guys a better look, but it needs to be cleaned. So if you see any scuffs on the glass or any poops, that's because today is cleaning day. So there's Cora. Over here, that's Bolin, it looks like. I think you're Bolin. And back there, that's Mako. And Asami is right back there. So this is their entire enclosure. Very pretty if I say so myself. Again, this enclosure would not have so much light if it weren't for this window being open. But this is my cave gecko's enclosure, in fact, I'm gonna close this and then I'll just turn on the flash because I'll give you guys a better look anyway. So flash is on. This is her enclosure. She has been brumating and uh, refusing to eat. So yeah, her dubias are still in there. But this is her entire enclosure. There's a lot more than what it looks like. Like she's got a humid hide down here which she likes to poop in. Um, she's got her water dish over here and there's cork everywhere. And then obviously the cork wall which allow her to climb. But uh, she's currently sleeping somewhere right down there. So we're not gonna bother her. I'll include a picture so you guys know what she looks like. And over here we have Roku who's my fire skink. Uh, he ate, so good for him, good boy. He is currently hiding as well, and Eco Earth Day is a couple days away still. Eco Earth Day, for those who don't know, is where I change out Eco Earth or mix it up, or um, like my new Eco Earth Day will be adding uh, topsoil to the Eco Earth. Anyways, that's not for a couple of days, so I don't get to see him, uh, but I will include my most recent photo, which was from like 20 days ago. Because if you know anything about fire skinks, uh, they don't really like to be seen. So he has some fake plants, he's got wood, there's an actual hide back here, and that's sitting on top of another hide. There's actually a cave down here with an entrance. Um, and then he's got his water bowl, his food bowl, this really big cave, and then his under tank heaters underneath there. He's got this, which he can hide behind as well, and also allows him to get really close to his um, micro vapor bulb. Uh, the temperatures are great right here. Like, he could just bask here underneath this plant if he wanted to, but I wanted to allow him to get a little bit closer if he wanted. And then, of course, another fake plant. So that's Roku's enclosure. And then, because these are my fiance's enclosures and they are not mine, they are not currently clean. So, like, as you can see, there's a poop right there. Um, also, I don't really want to get the step stool out, so I'll just kind of hold it up there. But these are his Crested Gecko enclosures, and like I said, they need upgrades, they need more plants. Um, this is where I come in, so I can't wait to do that. With that shelf upgrade comes the possibilities for a few new pets, and I will not reveal them until I get them, but I have a couple in mind that I talked about in my in my video of my uh, like best and worst of 2018. So if you're interested in that uh, little tidbit of information, either join Patreon, because I've already revealed them on Patreon. I know Zeki. My dog is whining at me. 
If you're interested in knowing the species that I intend to put down below, you can join uh, on Patreon or you can go check out the best and worst of 2018 to get a little hint that may or may not be true. So the people on Patreon know the truth already. So shout out if you're from Patreon. Anyways, I hope you liked the shelf and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell, leave a comment, leave a like, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.